for your website, this page that we have here in the front, which is the web page. And if you go into our WordPress friend, you will see that we have pages. Why this is important is that when you want to create blogging, you're not going to create a blog with a page, but you're going to create a blog with a post. So both of them are very similar. They can contain content, but at the same time, they're also not similar. In the fourth module in this WordPress series, we look at blogging, and then we will deep dive into posts and how you create that to make your blogging site, your news site, and you can also use posts for anything else like creating a recipe site. And then I'll explain to you why you will want to use a post for your news and not a page. But because this page is fixed, we're going to put the content there, it's going to stay there, no changes until we want to update it, we are going to use a page for that. We often say the page is static, the content doesn't really change. Select pages, and at the very beginning, we had two pages here. We had deleted that, and now we're going to create our own page. Click on Add New, and we're going to call this page Home. We're just going to have this one page website, but we want to give it a name because it's a home page, so we just give it the name Home. Every time you create a new page, you're going to get this little welcome screen to the block editor. This is the WordPress editor and it explains a little bit to you how this editor works. Again, when we get to blogging, I'm going to show you everything here because I do use this editor for blogging. But when I want to create pages, I don't use it. I will go for something like Brizzy. So we can go through that. And now the first thing we have to do is give our page a name. There it is, add title and I'll type in there home and then I'm going to save it. Again, we select publish here in the top and WordPress will tell me, hey, are you sure you want to publish this page? Why is WordPress so concerned whether I want to publish or not? The reason is publish means that this page goes live into the wild. If somebody has your website address by mistake and they type it into their browser, they're going to find this page, whether you have designed something or not. And that is why WordPress is really checking with you. Do you want this page to go live? I'm going to say yes. So you're also going to say yes and click on publish. And then close there on the X. What I want to show you though, is that you have this option here, switch to draft. Go ahead and click on switch to draft. And then you say, are you sure you want to unpublish this post? Ah, let's do it, say okay. Now we have unpublished the post and it is saved. It is now a draft. This means that you can make changes here in the back. You can bring in new content. You can do edits. You can add images. You can add text, but it will not appear to any visitor to your site. For us who are doing this practice, we really don't care about drafts at this moment. So we're going to keep it in publish so that we can see what we are doing on the front. Go back and we click on publish and then it will ask me again, are you sure? And I'll say, yes, I'm sure I want to publish. Close that. And now we have created this page. To go back to WordPress, you select your icon and you can see at this moment, it is your favicon that appears there. If you didn't bring in the favicon, it will be a WordPress little label. Click on that and it takes you back to WordPress. The pages are open and you see that we've created this home page here. What I want you to do is below that, you will see we have these quick links, edit, quick edit, trash, and then view. I want you to click on the view, select it, and it's going to open a view of your home page. And you can go back to WordPress by selecting either print code there at the top, the name of your site, or you can select a W. I'll just click here on the little dashboard meter and we select pages again. And that's how you can quickly view the page that you've created. We created this page. We've created this page that we called home, but we could have given it any name on earth. It doesn't mean it's a home page. It's just a page. But how can we make sure that when people come to our site, this is the page that will show up when they type in our address. And the way to do that is we just tell WordPress, hey, this is my homepage. And to do that, we go all the way down to settings 
and we select reading. This is confusing, right? Reading? We have to do reading? No, it's reading for your WordPress. This is just the word. You, you just need to learn this crazy word called reading. And then under the reading settings, it says here, your homepage displays, question mark, and then you choose. Currently, it's set to your latest posts. But remember, I told you only in the fourth module, we will look at the posts. In our case, I want to use my homepage, which I explained to you is static. The content doesn't really change. Aha, uh -huh, so there is a static page. Let's do that. Select it, and then it's going to say for my homepage, which page do you want? And if you look at the drop down, oh, there's only one choice. Why? Because we've only created one page. We didn't create any other pages. And now by doing this, select home, we are telling WordPress that this page home is the page that should be presented to people when they come to my site. So this is the page we will be creating. And I want this page to appear whenever people type in my website address. Once you've done this, the golden rule is to make sure that you save the changes. Otherwise, it's not locked in. And now when you go to the top and you select print co and you go to the front, you will see it says home at the top because that is the page title. Let's go back to WordPress, click on the top. And let's just open another preview. I forgot when did I close mine. Hold down control command on your keyboard and click on your website name and it will open a front end version of your site. With that done, we can bring in a featured image for our homepage next.